Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It's a beautiful day today. Um, I've got to get a few things done today. I started painting the fence and the gate around the vegetable garden. We did burn the wood, and that worked fine for a year, but we didn't burn it as good as we should have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, a fresh coat of paint on it. And I was just doing a test, so I didn't paint all of it. I wanted to see if I liked it, so I lived with it for a couple days. And I was unsure about the white. I was thinking about painting it a dark gray, but I actually do like the white. It brightens it up and it gives it more of a whitewashed feel because I didn't put a really thick coat of paint on it. Anyways, this is what I've gotten done so far and also the backside here. I do like it so far. It kind of reminds me of Myrtle Beach where I'm originally from. And all I have to do is just continue on and finish it up. But before I do that, we had a lot of cardboard from the party, so I have to get that all burnt down before I start on the fence. Another thing that we ended up getting was a load of mulch. I wanna get one more load before the end of the season, but this load here I wanna to use to finish up the garden. So we're gonna unload this from the truck and then I'll get started on painting the fence. Finished the mulch there and continued this path all the way around. That's done now. And I added more mulch into the bare spots in here and also in here because I planted a lot of plants into here this season. The mulch kind of got spread, so I added another thick layer in here. That's pretty much it for the garden besides these glass panels, but that's going to be for another project in a different video. I'm going to winterize uh, my chicken coop and that area for the girls. So, and I'm going to use these glass panels to make an enclosure for them, but I'll show that all later. That way they have somewhere to hang out when it's snowing. Once we get the freezes in here towards the end of October, I'm definitely going to let the girls into the garden so they can do some cleaning up. We were having some issues with this post, so Jeff's working on it now. We had it attached to this building here, but it was sucking the pipe in and it was causing a weird angle. So he's adding a board in right there and he's gonna attach it so where it just comes straight out instead of doing what it did. It was kind of awkward. You can probably see it better from here. The roof kind of comes out a bit and so the pipe is at a weird angle, but he's trying to get it to where it sticks out more. All right, I think we shouldn't have a problem with that pushing out anymore. Now that it's supported all the way around with the board, this is much better actually. We've got um, supports holding it in along the way. Do you think we should put one more in? Okay. Painting the fence will have to wait. A storm decided to roll in, which is fine. I don't mind the rain at all. Okay. So, Oh, here comes Moo Moo. It's letting down. I hope it really rains and fills the pond. That would be amazing. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna rain hard. Oh shoot, my windows are down on my truck, okay. Oh my goodness, the rain is cold. I had to run out there and shut the windows. Yes, it's raining hard now. Rain, rain, come on. That would be amazing. Okay. Yes, that's amazing. Rain, rain. Oops, I'm getting rain on my lens. Fill up those swales in the pond. I hope it lasts for several hours. Oh my God. Well, I guess I will. Oh, is it slow? Oh, it's slowing down. Darn. Come on. Anyways, uh, if it keeps on going, I guess I'll just watch some TV and edit some video. 
Oh, I just noticed that. I was wondering why it felt so cold. There's little pellets of, like, ice. You can call it snow. No, it's not really snow. It's more like hail. Well, the rain didn't last as long as I hoped for, but let's see if it filled up anything. I was thinking about moving that tree so it's on drip system because it looks like it's struggling, and it has been struggling for about a year now. There is no water here. Looks like there was a little bit, though, that collected inside. Yeah, it was pretty heavy there for a minute. I see a little pool there. That's usually a good sign. It usually collects around this area first. Yeah, this filled up a little bit, not all the way. Usually it goes through here and then into the garden. It's a little channel that I probably need to clean out. So it's not been cleaned out this season at all. But it's nice to see that water did collect in here. At least the garden did get some watering. But don't look like it ran down this way and collected in any of the other little ponds. Gonna run down to the pond and see if any water's in there. Doggy's playing. <laughs> I don't think Chloe wants to play with you. Oh come on, God. Kellogg. <sniffs> Kellogg, come on. Look at you in your raincoat. Aren't you so cute? Okay. There is some water in here. Huh, nice. It's not as full as I was hoping, but it's something. The more water gets soaked into the ground, I'm sure the more this will eventually hold. Look at that right there. There's like a cloud over where the sun is. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like it's still raining all around us in certain areas. There's a nice clear spot right there. And then over here, it's, well, yeah, it it's pretty clear. It was raining real heavy. The three sides of us had sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It was just very cloudy and wet right here, which is very unusual. Well, hopefully tomorrow will be a nice day yeah. and I'll be able to get the, the fence painted. Let things dry out a little bit. It's just getting close to the end of the day and everything's so wet. So I'm not even gonna try to paint that fence or finish painting it. Not a lot of people left here at RV Base Camp. Got Dan and Vicky, Jason and Jennifer, which are walking with us. And then Jeff, of course. And then there's Terry and Scott, but they'll be leaving soon. And the other Jennifer's here. And then myself. Jimmy in the back there. That's it. This is the highest part of the property and there is some water that's collected here. Not a lot, but some. Olive! You want to go walkie-walkie? Walkie! Where Where's she at? Olive, you want to go walkie-walkie? No, she's going to go running. Run. Oh my goodness. Like a bowling ball. She is a bowling ball. <laughs> it slammed right into her. Not <laughs> that's Olive for you. Everything does look really beautiful this time of day. Also, it's overcast, not bright and sunny. Well, the sky's beautiful. Sun has already set. The cloudy stuff is all rain, right? Yeah, the the red coming down there, that's it, rain. It's going on a little bit. I guess yeah. It's a little deeper. I don't, it doesn't look like it's making it to the ground though. Oh, it rained harder here. There's mud puddles at the end of our road. But we haven't really done much with our road since it's not too awful bad. We just have a few spots here. Oh wow, you can really see the sky here. That's really pretty. All the red. Sure, it doesn't show up as good on camera. Oh, here comes a car through the mud puddle. Come on, Mama. Go. Go. And head back. Ooh, something's cooking. Oh, and it's still bubbling. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. 
This is what's for dinner tonight, one of my favorite things. It is smothered chili and cheese burritos. Oh, that looks so good. All right, we're gonna dig in. Mmm, sour cream. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Hot, but so good. That is just yummy. Anyways, we're going to watch a movie. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. We'll see you then. Isn't it a beautiful day, Moo Moo? What are you chillaxing? So, like I said, it is a beautiful day today. Thankfully, I was able to get the fence done. I actually did a lot of time lapsing and filmed. Terry and Scott left, and I filmed that as well. And then I showed the fence, but all that had gotten erased because I had an old battery in the camera and it overheated and caused the SIM card to, or the SD card to actually go bad. Now I can't get any of the files off of the SIM card, so that's that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I did. I think it looks great. Like I said, it reminds me of the beach, kind of that whitewashed look, since the paint's not really thick. Once it dries, it kind of soaks in. Let's see I got all the way to the corner and then a little bit before I ran out of paint. Got to right there. So I have to go buy some more paint and finish the job. But it's a nice sunny day, so the paint's drying pretty fast. Well, it definitely sucks that the clip that I got of Terry and Scott leaving got erased or damaged. Looks like I got the fence done just in time because there is some clouds starting to build in the distance. I'm not sure if it's going to come this way or not. I'm not sure if we're supposed to get rain. But yeah, Terry and Scott, they're gone. And Terry did film the goodbye. So if you want to see that, go check it out on their channel for Destination Open Road. The grapes, the grapes. I think I'm just going to leave these up for the season. I might put them up, but I don't know. Maybe I'll leave them. <laughs> they are supposed to be weatherproof. Anyways, I am very pleased with how this turned out. And I can't wait to get it finished. But that'll have to be another video. Because before the rain sets in, I have some laundry to do. And some other just chores. Clean my rig and stuff. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me during this video. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Until then, see you later.